German Shepherd. The German Shepherd has its name from its country of origin, Germany, where it appeared in the late 19th century. It is a dog that is both very sporty and elegant thanks to its flexible size. Its coat is dense, rough and straight, and usually black-brown fawn, black or gray in color. Its truffle is dark black, brown almond eyes, and ears straight. The tail of the dog is drooping, bushy. There are two equally recognized varieties of German Shepherds, short-haired and long-haired. The German Shepherd is of medium size, slightly longer than high. It is vigorous, muscular, and has a solid overall construction. Males have a size of about 60 to 65 centimeters at the withers, and females have a size of about 60 to 60 centimeters at the withers. The weight varies from 22 to 32 kilograms for the female, and from 30 to 40 kilograms for the male. German Shepherds are very versatile dogs, composed of two lines, work lineage and beauty lineage. The work lineage lines are more comfortable with jumps and exercises soliciting its endurance, speed of movement, and tone. Straighter back line, medium sized and athletic size, work lineage lines are gray, black, or black and tan in color. They excel in high level disciplines such as IPO or IGP, ring, mondioring, herd, etc. The beauty lineage has different morphological criteria. Black and fire coat, a very developed chest, backline forming an inclination of the shoulder blade to descend towards the pelvis, highlighting the posture of the dog. This lineage is made to be able to trot for a long time without tiring the joints. It has been selected for canine beauty contests. The beauty lineage still keeps its aptitude as a utility dog, since an IPO or PGI certificate is mandatory to obtain the German or Kurung confirmation. Origin and Legend In 1878, German breeders with shepherdess skills made a first attempt to regroup in order to improve their dogs. These are varied from a phenotypic point of view, especially according to the regions. It is the cavalry captain Maximil Frederik von Stefanitz who will be the true father of the German Shepherd breed. After admiring the abilities of Shepherd dogs for a long time, he decided to buy one on April 3, 1899. The original name of the dog was Hector von Linkschrein, which he later renamed Horen von Graffeth. This one is gray and yellow, rather Thuringian Shepherd type, but with straight ears. Von Stefanitz and Arthur Meyer then created the Breed Club on April 22, 1899 in Karlsruhe. On September 28, 1899, the first standard of the German Shepherd breed was published, and in 1900, Horend inaugurated the book of the origins of the SV, Zuchbuch. What would later make the strength of the breed was the largesse of its leaders and the first definition of the German Shepherd. Any Shepherd dog living in Germany, which, thanks to a constant exercise of its qualities as a Shepherd dog, achieves the perfection of its body and psyche as part of its utilitarian function. In the United States, legend has it that the first German Shepherd was brought back to this continent by Corporal Lee Duncan, who had seen the exploits of this dog during the First World War. This legend is belied by the history of the club, which was founded before this war. The breed reaches all its notoriety thanks to the success of the dog in the series Ren Tin Tin. The club was founded in 1913 by S. Hasted Yates. He pursued a different policy from that of the Europeans by privileging beauty at work. With 25,000 entries in the Book of Origins in 1926 and more than 100,000 in 1970, we can say that the German Shepherd also holds a very important place. Appearance Well-trained German Shepherds are obedient and greatly intelligent. The breed also makes very good guard dogs. 
Well educated, the dog will bark only wisely. In addition, the German Shepherd embodies versatility to perfection. Working dog par excellence. It can be educated as a police dog, herd, tracker, or a guide dog for the blind. The German Shepherd breed attaches itself very quickly to humans and also adapts very well to a family life. It must be educated firmly but without brutality because under impressive and deterrent surroundings it can be very sensitive. The breed can't stand loneliness. It is an outdoor dog which appreciates the great outdoors and exercise. German Shepherds are sporty and need to exert themselves regularly. In adulthood, the German Shepherd is often a dog very attached to its entourage, so it sometimes instinctively protects children. The German Shepherd is a working dog, sometimes used as a guide for the blind. It's also able to find survivors of avalanches and earthquakes. For instance, the breed helped rescue many survivors in the catastrophic magnitude 7.0 earthquake that struck Haiti. German Shepherds are also used to find drugs and explosives. German Shepherds would accompany their owner anywhere, so they can be parachuted in order to be able to perform particularly delicate interventions. Several police dogs of this breed have been awarded medals in recognition of their courage after spectacular actions or rescues. The versatility is the result of a great complicity between the owner and his dog, which makes the canine an excellent guard dog. In fact, it would help defend the property and family at almost any cost. Thus, the education of the German Shepherd is a fundamental not to be neglected. Health and Life Expectancy Many common ailments of the German Shepherd are the result of the inbreeding practiced early in the breed's life. One such common ailment is hip and elbow dysplasia, which may cause the dog to experience arthritis and pain later on in life. A study conducted by the University of Zurich found that 45% of the police working dogs were affected by degenerative spinal stenosis, although a small sample size was used. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals found that 19.1% of German Shepherds are affected by hip dysplasia. Other health problems experienced by German Shepherds include Gastric Dilation Torsian Syndrome Turning of the Stomach This happens mainly if the dog puts on the effort after eating, so it is essential to feed your pet at the end of the day before sleeping, so that it has enough time to digest. The complication can be cured as long as it is treated quickly, but it is very commonly fatal. Degenerative Myelopathy of the German Shepherd It is a neurological disorder caused by axonal degeneration and progressive demyelination of the spinal cord. Dogs carrying both copies of the mutation can be affected as early as six months, more often around eight to nine years with variations, according to lineages. This disease is not curable, and the animal will lose the motor functions of the hindquarters, as well as the ability to urinate and defecate normally. Immune Disorders The German Shepherd is prone to immune disorders that can create allergies, anal fistulas, and ear infections. Prevention There are, however, ways to help prevent hip dysplasia, including getting a pup from a good breeder, keeping it on a healthy diet, and limiting the amount of jumping or rough play. Appropriate calcium intake is vital in developing a strong skeletal system and aid in preventing orthopedic disorders like canine hip dysplasia. Furthermore, the ratio of calcium and phosphorus must be balanced and at a recommended ratio of 1 to 2 to 1 to ensure proper bone development and structure. Imbalances in calcium and phosphorus levels can result in various skeletal complications. Excess phosphorus can produce lesions in bones, whereas excessive calcium can lead to hypocalcemia and result in excess bone deposition, interfering with normal bone development. Omega-3 fatty acids such as EPA and DHA have been shown to be highly effective in the prevention of 
cartilage catabolism in vitro models, suggesting that its supplementation in food could aid in decreasing the symptoms of osteoarthritis in German Shepherds. Ensuring an appropriate ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids of approximately 5 to 1 is very important for inflammation processes. Glucosamine is an amino monosaccharide that naturally occurs in all tissues, particularly in articular cartilage of joints and from the biosynthesis of glucose. Clinical trials of long-term administration of glucosamine in German Shepherds have reduced symptoms of degenerative joint disease and accelerated cartilage healing. Anti-inflammatory efforts of glucosamine are believed to contribute to the reduction of pain, promote joint recovery and mobility, and prevent further cartilage degradation. Similarly, chondroitin supplementation is proposed to have comparable results in inhibiting degradative enzymes within the cartilage matrix to reduce the effects of osteoarthritis, but further research is required to assess long-term benefits. Certain vitamins such as A and D also have crucial roles in bone development and maintenance by regulating bone and calcium metabolism. Adequate levels should be incorporated into a German Shepherd's diet to promote a healthy musculoskeletal system. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Now it's your turn. What dog breed do you have or would you like us to talk about? Please let us know. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us establish our presence on YouTube.